The Thai political crisis that spiraled into street protests early this year still shows no signs of stopping. On Thursday, academics launched their own campaign against Thai Prime Minister Thaksin Sinawatra. In a protest gathering at Bangkok's Chulalongkorn University that stirred memories of street protest in March and April, hundreds of staff from three universities and a handful of students were demanding Toxine to resign, waving banners before marching around the campus. The street campaign that led Toxine to create snap elections in April may be back again. Protest leaders from the People's Alliance for Democracy have announced one for next Friday. With elections set to take place in late November, Analysts say Thailand could expect a repeat of the unrest that took place early this year, and the stakes are higher, with possible violence if Thaksin returns to power. Last time we saw this in March and April, the April 2nd election led to his uh, resignation on April 4th. So we are in the same cycle again, but more intense and uh, with uh, much higher stakes this time. Uh, he will want to reach election day, see the results, and if the numbers go down, the number of popular votes goes down, then uh, that will give him a pretext, justification for stepping aside. In an interview broadcast last Thursday, Toxin said he is only contemplating stepping aside. 